Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Don't mind the barking dog. I've got the door open. Um, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you all three different Today I'm going to be showing you all three easy ways to display your Christmas cards. So I don't know about you guys, but I always... i got to shut the door. It's not a kid, it's a dog. Sorry guys. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm always running out of spots to put my Christmas cards and currently I have a little thing hanging up on my door that we kind of hang them on but now I have three more places that I can put if I have overflow and these are super duper easy I made all of them using Dollar Tree items and they took literally no time at all to make so if you guys are new to my channel and you are one of my new subscribers welcome thank you so much for sticking around I'm so happy that you're here and if you guys aren't already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that right now? Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. And let's get into these DIYs. All right, so these are the lights I'm gonna be using. These are actually from Ikea. I've had them for quite a while, but you can use any lights you want. You're gonna need these tiny little clothespins, uh, any kind of ribbon that you would like. I ended up not using that small red ribbon. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is take the ribbon and I'm gonna cut it probably about 10 inches and you can measure it out however long you need it. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is actually cut this in half so that it's not as thick. Originally what I tried doing was just tying it in a bow onto the lights, but it didn't really turn out because the ribbon was so thick and it was really hard to work with. So I'll show you guys in a minute what I was able to do instead. So after about the 50th time I did this, I think I finally mastered it. So I kind of just did two little loops and then I brought the other the right hand side of the ribbon around and then I ended up just cutting off the end the bottom so that it was a little bit um, diagonal and then I just used my hot glue gun to glue down the pieces so it would look right I know it's not like a perfect bow by any means but this was the easiest way I could do it to work with that kind of material and then I just took my little buttons and put those in the middle and I don't even think you can tell that it's not a real bow And then once I finished all of the bows and adding the buttons, I just took a little bit of the glue and glued it right onto the, the lights. I figured it's glue, it's a glue gun, so it should come off pretty easy if I ever want to take these off. Or I might just leave this on here and this will just go back with my Christmas lights. And then the finishing touch for this one is just to add the little mini clothespins and then you can go ahead and add your Christmas cards. Alright, for this next one, I took my foam board and I actually just took a very long stick that I have and I made a line going across the entire thing that made it look like a tree. So what I did was I measured it in the center, like measured um, to get the exact point of the center on the foam board and then I just made a line going straight down to the edge of the bottom. So now I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So this is basically just a giant triangle that is going to look like a Christmas tree. And now that I have the triangle, I'm taking this spare little piece that was left over from when I cut it out, and I'm going to make the little tree trunk. So what I'm going to do is just, I didn't even measure this, I just literally cut basically like a rectangle. So I cut it like this, and then I just cut it again to make it even so it's like shaped like a rectangle. And then we're going to paint this a little later on and then glue it onto the bottom of the tree. 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and take those placemats and I'm going to remove all of the tags. And they're kind, they're two, they're like two layers. So there's a front and then the back. So and they're sewn together. So what I'm going to do is actually take them apart and take the bottom part or the backing off and just use the front part of the material. Now I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna start gluing this fabric onto the bottom of the tree. So I'm starting at the bottom so that I can do layers going up so it actually kind of looks like a real Christmas tree. And then once I have that all glued down, you can see the very corners, there's some bare spot. Um, like the foam board is showing through. So what I'm gonna do is just take some scrap pieces and just glue those on and you'll just have to kind of work with it and just kind of fold it over and get it so that the corners aren't showing. Now you're gonna take the next placemat and just layer it right on top of that bottom one. So if you see at the bottom, like how it's hanging over, it kind of looks like a real Christmas tree. And then once you get that glued down, you're gonna go ahead and do it with the, the same thing with the top one as well. And then for the back, I just flipped it over and cut most of the material off and then just left enough that I could roll over to the other side and glue down. And then once you repeat that for both sides, you're going to go ahead and do that for the remaining top part as well. So just glue it down and then flip it over, cut off the excess material, and then glue it on down. Next, I'm going to take this little star from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and cut off the little coily part looking thing um because i just want the star i don't want that other part so what i did was i just kind of bent it back and forth a little bit and then took some of my wire cutters and cut it off next i just went ahead and took my hot glue gun and glued it to the very tip of the tree now i'm just going to go ahead and take my twine and kind of wrap it diagonally across the entire tree and then that is where the cards will hang off of so once you finish the twine, I'm just kind of gluing it and mostly on the back and a couple of spots in the front as well. And then once you're done with that, you can add your little clothespins and then your Christmas cards. Now for that little tree trunk, I'm just taking this brown Waverly paint that I have and I'm just going to sponge it on with that little foam sponge and just paint it. And I feel like if you just keep going like the same direction, it kind of actually looks like real wood. And I did wet the sponge a little bit so that it's the paint wasn't as thick. Now I'm just putting a little bit of glue at the top of the trunk and then I'm just going to stick the tree right on there. And then now you're just going to take the little clothespins and put them on the twine and you can put as many as you want. Um, I did, once the twine got down to the bottom, since it was so much longer, I did put a piece of glue like in the center just so that it would kind of hold it in place a little better. But you can just add the clothespins and then add your Christmas cards. Now for this last one, I'm just kind of using some leftover scraps that I have from the other projects. So I'm taking this little piece of foam board that I just kind of cut. I mean, I don't even, I didn't measure it or anything, but I just cut it like to this size. And then I'm taking my leftover placemat from the second little DIY, and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this fabric onto the little foam board. And I did have to cut the end of the little foam board piece off because I didn't have enough fabric to cover it. So I just kind of trimmed off maybe an inch so that it would all fit in the fabric.
Next, I'm gonna take this little burlap and lace ribbon that I bought from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna cut two long strips of this ribbon, and then I'm gonna use another long strip of the burlap and red color that I used earlier, and then we're just gonna go ahead and glue them onto the foam board. So I didn't measure this or anything. I just kind of stuck it wherever I thought it looked right. And I didn't put it all the way at the edge because I figured if the cards were hanging off a little bit, it would just look a little nicer if it was in a little more. So I did the two on the end and then I put one directly in the center. Next, I just went ahead and cut a little bit of twine and this is what I'm gonna hang it with. So I'm just gonna glue it to each corner of the foam board and then that is what you can hang it with. Just put it on a hook or however you wanna hang it. Next, I picked up these cute little bows from Dollar Tree. You get three of them for a buck, so I thought that this would be cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these on the foam board right over like top of the where the ribbon is. And then after I finished the bows, I hung it up and then I just placed the little clothespins on there and then added your Christmas cards. So this one was super duper easy and I think it turned out so cute and this one can hold a lot of cards. So I really hope you guys enjoyed these three Christmas card holder DIYs. Comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite and we will see you all soon. Bye.